I know what you're thinking. What is this butt fan contraption thing attached to a parachute looking thing flying through the sky and how does it work? Oh, and where can I get one? Well, let me explain and allow me to shed some light on this wonderful world of paramotors and how they work. There are two main parts to flying a paramotor. The first is the fabric that flies above your head, also known as a paraglider. The paraglider is what gives you the ability to actually fly. Without the paraglider, the paramotor will never get airborne. Now, paragliders are hand sewn out of nylon and attached to you with paracord. The controls are very simple. There are two brakes attached to the leading edge. You pull the right brake in your right hand to go right. You pull the left brake in your left hand to go left. Now, a paraglider is very similar to a parachute. However, the paraglider is designed to be more efficient and do a whole lot less sinking unlike a parachute. Paragliders can be flown in a few different ways. First, you could just run off a hill and do what's called sled riding. Sled riding are short rides that require you to hike to the top of a mountain before you can fly to the bottom. Second, you can attach to some form of ridge lift or thermals such as Point of the Mountain, Utah or thermaling and you could stay up for however long the lift is there. Third, you can be towed up by either a boat, a car or something of that nature. And fourth, the most fun way to fly a paraglider is with a paramotor. As soon as you add the paramotor, everything changes. You are no longer limited by the small area where you have lift and you are free to go where you want to go. Now, the second part to flying paramotors is the actual paramotor. That butt fan looking thing that thrusts you into the sky with so much force, you might just pee your pants. Now, when it comes to paramotors, there are two main parts. The first one is the actual motor. The motor is basically the power plant that rockets you into the sky. Without the motor, there'd be no fly. Typical paramotors either use a 185cc or a 200cc two-stroke engine that produces between 25 and 30 horsepower. Most paramotors have enough power to carry upwards of 600 pounds and fly for around two hours on a standard 2.5 gallon gas tank. These engines are built to last anywhere from 200 to 500 hours without needing major repairs. The second part to paramotors is the frame. Paramotor frames come in all different shapes, sizes, colors, options, opinions, and what's best. The single most important job of a paramotor frame is to connect you, the glider, and the motor. Some paramotors, like the flat top, are designed to be a little bit more safe than other paramotors. Some paramotors are designed to be lighter, and some are designed to look cooler. Most paramotor frames are built out of either carbon fiber, titanium, or aluminum. A paramotor provides us with the ultimate level of freedom. Now, how the heck do you fly these things? Well, let me explain. For launching paramotors, it's a fairly quick and easy process. Usually from the time that I pull up to my flying spot to the time I'm in the air is anywhere between two and five minutes on a normal day. If it's 30 degrees outside or less, and I've got to cover up with a ton of gear, it might take longer. But the first step is simple. You lay out the glider into the wind all opened up. You start up the motor, get it warmed up, hook in to the actual motor, hook to the glider, and you are ready to go. You just run, inflate that glider, hit the power, and after 10 or 20 steps, you're flying through the sky. It is so addicting. I can't even begin to tell you how fun it is and how I just can't get enough. Once airborne, you are free to go wherever you want to go. Unlike with just paragliding or a traditional airplane, you can go cruise around town. You can fly to the top of the mountain behind your house. 
take a trip a hundred miles away, camp in that spot that no one else can get to, and most importantly, just have fun. With paramotors, there are very few rules that we have to follow, so you are almost completely free to do what you wanna do. With the flat top paramotor, you can fly around two hours on one tank of gas, cruise around 30 to 50 miles an hour, go all the way up to 18,000 feet, and if you wanna bring gear with you to go camping, you totally can. Heck, bring some s'mores for the fire. <laughs> Flying is a very therapeutic thing for me. Anytime I'm feeling a little down, a little lonely, a little sad, a flight makes everything better. I can't even begin to tell you the amount of pure adrenaline and joy that I get when I go flying. The best way to describe a paramotor is that it's like the dirt bike of the sky. You are not limited to big open roads. You are not limited to giant runways. You don't need a lot of space. You don't need a radio to the tower. You don't need to follow a flight pattern. You go where you want to go when you want to go. So what's stopping you? If you wanna learn more about how you can get into paramotors, go to flyflattop.com or call us at 800-707-2525. Thank you.